The first time I realized we were having a problem was a phone call from my dad. He said, we were just having a conversation. He said, you won't believe your mom. She got lost today. And I got lost. And then, you know, it seemed like a few weeks later, he said, I don't believe your mom. Again, we got lost. I don't know what she's thinking. We decided that maybe she shouldn't be driving. Uh, maybe that isn't such a good idea. Um, and that was a I think that's the first big deal because that's really hard to do to take keys away from somebody. And my mom was probably 80 then and really fighting it. So we made up some story that the car had broken down and needed to be fixed uh, so that it was out of the picture for a while. A little time went by and I got a call from um, my Aunt Mary who said, uh, you know, your dad's having to do all the house cleaning and cooking at your house. Your mother's just not doing anything. You should check up on her because something's going on over there. Um, and so we went down and uh, checked that out. And my mom's excuse was, I'm retired. <laughs> you know, it's my turn to relax. Your dad can do it. He's a great cook. You know, he can clean. He's good. Now he can see what it's like being a, a wife. Then we decided that we need to find help to come in. And of course, they both resented that, re rejected and said, no, we don't need it. And so we used the excuse of, uh, you know what, for Christmas, we're giving you a housekeeper mom. Once a week, she's coming. And then the once a week became twice a week and then three times a week until we finally moved her in. With the help down there, we still had to go drive down there and, and check up on them. And of course, it's easier for the three of us living in LA to drive down to San Diego. Um, and my sister in San Francisco would fly down. And we were rotating, kind of taking turns. And then you start going through agencies and turnover. Uh, it's, it's a nightmare, you know, it's hard. And especially from a distance. So basically we reached a point where we decided they're going to have to come up here and um, I would just move them into my home. And you know, that wasn't an easy conversation either, you know, convincing them that uh, they had to come up. My, my parents were really resistant. You know, we want to be in our own house. We like this house. We, I, we've lived here all these years. We don't need a move. We don't need to be with you. We're fine here. And you know, we really just kept saying, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. And, just put our foot down. And I think the next step you have to think about is how capable are they of getting around your house and what's in the way, what's not in the way. Um, I tried reading up on literature I could find about, about that, you know, and just in general, I was thinking, well, I have to have those handicap bars around the bathroom, uh, in the shower, in the tub. So, we remodeled the uh, bathroom and we have all the handicap bars there. Once we set up their insurance here uh, with the local doctors and the local insurance company, um, they actually send a nurse out that was really helpful uh, to see the setup. Um, and they had a lot of suggestions. My dad fell into the rose bushes. Now, he didn't really get hurt other than scratched up by the, um, the, ro the rose bush but I had to try to pick him up, try to pick up a six foot man. Uh, and I mean, I'm strong, but when they're tall and he's not really overweight, I think he weighs maybe 185 or something. I couldn't get him up. I mean, it was really difficult. So, I mean, eventually I got him up and eventually he was fine, had black and blue marks, but I've kind of learned my lesson from having children that once you know an accident happens or once you imagine it might happen you should do something about it i set up a ramp at the front of the house and it was the best thing the minute we put it in both of them said gee this is great thank you they were appreciative of it i was just imagining you know my house looking like a handicap you know i hate saying that it's not nice you know, it's like looking like you know a convalescent home i didn't want it to look that way or i didn't want it to have that smell you want it to be fresh and homey but there are all kinds of dings and nicks on my you know walls and in the doorways in the beginning it you know i would just roll my eyes and you know take a deep breath and now i just let it slide because it's just stuff it's actually worse having them have an accident. It was, I think, one of the best decisions we made. It worked out really well.